Surgery is very common for hemorrhoid disease. Um, their hemorrhoid disease is a lot more complex than, than people think. Uh, uh, hemorrhoids are basically just big veins uh, in the anal canal that cushion the anal canal during bowel movements and they can cause all kinds of problems. They can thrombose or clot off uh, and that can be a very painful thing that's very easily taken care of in the office with uh, decompressing the, the hemorrhoid clot. Um, they can um, prolapse or push out with bowel movements, they can bleed, they can itch. It's not something that a lot of people want to talk about, but it's very common. And there are some very simple things that we can do to manage hemorrhoidal disease, uh, both surgically and non-surgically. There is some hereditary component to hemorrhoidal disease. Uh, it's mainly, however, uh, induced by uh, irregularities in bowel movements. Uh, certain uh, jobs are more prone to it, obviously truck drivers, uh, people that are sitting for long, -term, long periods of time during their work. Uh, people that ride bicycles a lot, and that's a common thing in, in the Austin area is a lot of people are out there on their bikes, and, and it's a common problem for, uh, for people that are out there cycling quite a bit. The best thing that you can do really to prevent hemorrhoidal disease is to make sure that you're uh, up and walking. If you have a sedentary job, you take time every few hours to get up and, and move around, um, and make sure that you have a normal uh, bowel movement regimen. Uh, if you're uh, chronically constipated or if you're chronically having loose stools, it's best to talk to your doctor about how to make it more regular and how to make your bowel movements more regular and that will prevent uh, the likelihood of, of developing hemorrhoids.